Hello, happy Saturday everyone. I thought it would be easier today just to do a quick video on how to coach through the prep week. There's a lot of information I'm going to give you, so I tried to write it out and um, I thought, well, this is going to take them a long time just to read through it. So um, here's the deal with the prep week. So I have two people currently that are, that are starting on Monday, and then I have a few that will start um, later on, on on different Mondays. We always have a Monday start, and why it makes this really simple for us to coach people. So as I'm doing this video, and you're watching this video, I want you to have two documents with you when I talk to you about coaching. The documents that you need to have with you and on you are the 30 Days to Healthy Living Coaching Tracker. It's this one that looks like this. Okay, that's going to help you track as you coach um, your clients and maybe, you know, you're going through this yourself and uh, coaching yourself through this. Um, so you just put little check marks um, where, you know, the little, the text messages or phone calls or communication, any communication that you have with your client, you're going to uh, put it on your tracker sheet so you will know exactly where you is, you got where you are. You guys, this is so important because when you start coaching um, multiple people, it's really going to be hard for you to keep track of where you are. So unless you use that tracker or have some method of follow-up, this is huge, um, then you're going to have a hard time knowing, you know, what's next. Okay. So prep week. Um, the other form that you need to have with you is, uh, the 30 day coaching guide. Okay. It's, it's everything that you're going to text message, all the communication that you're going to have with your client. <clears throat> so sorry. We, um, um, I'm in the process right now of, uh, coaching my, my two clients. And so this is what I've done for the prep week. And it, it says it right here on the sheets, so it's not going to be any new information for you. Let me put my glasses on so I can see um, what it says. <clears throat> now, I want you to know that the coaching guide is just that. It's a guide. It's for you to use. You can follow it step by step if you want. The most important thing I want you to know is that you need to personalize it. So every client is going to be different. So the clients that I'm coaching currently, I, I know their goals. I know what they want through this program, and that's really important to communicate and ask them those questions because if you don't know why they're doing this business, or excuse me, this program, it's going to be really hard to coach them through it, okay? So um, not everybody wants to do this to lose weight. Um, a lot of people want to do this to be healthy. So your commitment is, and it says right here, I will only add clients who have purchased the complete nutrition ASVP and are all in. Why do we want that? We want that because we can't guarantee the results if they don't have the full ASVP, if they're not following the program, you guys. So you are setting them up for failure. And not only that, you are setting yourself up for them to tell people that doesn't work. Um, I, you know, I tried that program and it doesn't work. So it's really important for you to be um, strict on, you know, when we get your ASVP purchased, then I'll add you to the Facebook group. Okay, so um, be really, really strict with that. Um, add them to your Facebook. Uh, Facebook group that, that you're follow your accountability group we have one that's ongoing it's for our 30 day and beyond people um, we're pretty strict on the guidelines of what's posted we want things posted in that Facebook page that are just 30 day friendly um, because we don't want people you know sometimes the the boundaries get um, you know they get skewed a little bit so we want people to know these are these are 30 day friendly I have been through the client packet with each of the people that I'm coaching right now, and that's important. So one of the things that I like to do is I have the, I like them to look at the exchange list. It used to be called the avoid list, and I thought that had a better, um, you know, sound to it. So we we changed the terminology. So I have them look at that list, and I ask them if you were to see one or two things that we are eliminating in the next 30 days, um, what's going to be the hardest thing, the two hardest things for you? And I want to know that and I want them to know that because those are likely the things that they need to get rid of. Okay, so 
um, I have them look at that and I said, say, no problem. Uh, we're going to work through this. You're going to do great. Okay. Um, so have them look at that elimination list. You want to go through the sample day. It's important for them to know they're going to eat every three hours. Most people are not accustomed to that. Um, you guys, it's huge in our society for people to stop eating when they want to lose weight or stop eating when they want to, quote, get healthy. And we know that that's um, so dangerous and it decreases your metabolism so that when you start increasing your calories, you're going to put more weight on. That's the yo-yo. And in order for us to rev up our metabolism, we need to be eating every three, three and a half hours. Okay, that, don't ever stop do, doing that and just encourage your clients you're going to get used to it. The first week, it may be difficult, um, but eat every three to three and a half hours. And then you're gonna notice that you're hungry every three to three and a half hours. So that's part of the client uh, packet. I also go through a few shake recipes. I don't print off all the shake recipes, but I do give them a few um, of the shake recipes. And then I have them pick out their menu. So we go through and we pick out their menu, the one that really looks good for them, and I'm walking them through the menu. One of my clients that's here local, I actually went to the grocery store with her. I do that occasionally if they are local. And I just explain to them uh, you know, what, what you're looking for at the grocery store. These are the things that um, you, know, you want to buy organic fruit. Why do you wanna buy organic fruit? And so forth, okay? And if you're not familiar with all that information, you can um, you know, refresh your memory and look up why we don't do all of those things. Um, okay, so today is Saturday, um, and you know, what I will do is tomorrow, I will call my clients and I will remind them that they are going to weigh in the morning, Monday morning, and they're going to measure Monday morning, and they're gonna take a before picture. I will remind them of that, and I will also let them know that I'm gonna be communicating with them frequently, either through text messages or through phone calls. I, I will communicate with them frequently. And the text messages are here for me. Um, you know, I, based on their goals, I may personalize it a, a little bit every time I have that communication with them. So make sure that you're, you're following the guidelines, but add that personal touch, because ultimately, you guys, we want several things. We want this person to have a great experience. Uh, we want them to be able to share it with their friends and family. My goal is to make so many people healthy um, and teach them how to eat clean and how to become a healthier version of them. That's my goal, ultimately. And as many people as I can touch through that, that is amazing. What a healthier world we, we can make together. Um, and then, you know, next, I want to be able to teach their family and friends how to be healthy, and I, want, I would love to have this person in my business. And so the follow-up is key. The relationship is, is a key part of this. You, you want to avoid just dumping them in a Facebook group and just letting them get their information through the Facebook group. I go through tons of information with them, explaining to them why we do this program. Uh, we're going to eliminate some foods that are, that can cause you to have inflammation, possible allergies that are acidic, and give your body a rest. And we're rebooting, revving up your metabolism. And um, so I give them tons of information. I explain to them, you're not going to you're not going to obtain all of this information. I will go through more of it as we go through this month and beyond together. And at the end of the month. Um, if you haven't achieved the results that you ultimately want, we will just continue this program um, for 60, 90 days, et cetera. So I let them know that this is not just a 30 days and stop. And I think that's key with this program because a lot of people think it's just, quote, a detox and I'm gonna do this and I'm done and go on with my life, okay? So we wanna teach them right from the beginning that it is a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle. So I hope you guys are ready to go. We have just a few more days until all of us consultants together are doing our 30-day program. And um, hopefully, you're going to have some clients and some maybe some friends and family that are going to go through this with you. And let's blow up hashtag Arbon30. So I can't wait to see your success. And I hope this has been super helpful for you. Review those two documents that I gave you. It's going to be extremely helpful for you as you move forward with this program. Have an awesome weekend. Look forward to talking to you guys soon.